We're joined by New Mexico State head coach Marvin Menzies and student athletes Chalitzi Napawe and Daniel Mullings. Coach, can you just start with an opening statement? Yeah, who set up my microphone? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm happy I won. So just uh, trying to enjoy the moment. You got to understand that these games uh, in postseason is just about winning. You know, it's, the fans can critique my horrible coaching and why the game was close, and I could care less because we won. Uh, at the end of the day, there's a very good team that competes when, uh, when it's time to, to lace them up. They did the same thing last year uh, for us in postseason. Uh, we, we beat them by, I think, two points last year um, for our first game. So we expected a battle. We expected a war. We expected uh, two teams that were playing like there's no tomorrow. And uh, that's what you saw. They jumped out on us. Um, I think they had their legs, and they looked pretty good in the first uh, Five to ten minutes they played. They played. Uh, they being Beckersfield uh, and Rob Barnes did a fantastic job of. of uh, I could hear him about two locker rooms down and uh, getting them getting them ready to go. So I knew he was uh, firing them up, and they came out and played that way. So you know, got to give them credit. Uh, but winning time is three four minutes left in every game, when the game is close, and you got to rely on on your seniors and your leadership and your talent. To, to get the job done. We had some great deflections by these guys. We had some big rebounds. Uh, Chili was a man tonight. You know, Malls was his normal man, just giving you everything you need and filling up the stat sheet. Uh, and then we got some good, good work in by, by some of the young guys too. So uh, Remy's big, big uh, shots there. Those two free throws were huge for us. So I won't recap the whole game because I think I already did, um, but that's it for me. All right, any questions for the players? <laughs> I got help hope out. Uh, Daniel, kind of co coach just kind of talked about it right there. I mean, winning time. You guys have been in a lot of close games uh, this season, but especially during conference play, you guys have seen to come through. You know, what is it about uh, the fi the final minutes? Just the senior leadership you guys have in this team getting you through in the final minutes. Um, I think the seniors, uh, you know, it's key uh, it's for us to just come together and uh, keep the whole team together and positive as a whole. Because you know, we're up by about 10 and you know they fought hard and they b battled back and we were up by two at one point but you know we never panicked and uh, we stayed together and uh, encouraging each other and you know uh, Chile got a big rebound for us and Remy contributed with those big free throws so I think um, you know the seniors came together and it worked. Uh, Chile, the other side of the game uh, to open things up you have 11 and 8 you almost have a double double at halftime come out on fire I'm curious if that had anything to do maybe with a uh, recent selection to second team all conference and if you felt you had something to prove. Um, I mean, yeah, he did. He did have something. <laughs> I, to do. That honesty. <laughs> I thought he was going to give you the yeah. coach's patent politically correct answer. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm, you know, at least I got a recognition, but I was not really happy that I was second team because, you know, I feel like I deserve to be first team. Um, but so I just, you know, I just wanted to come today and just, you know, prove myself, you know, what kind of player I am and just, you know, win, win and help us win the game because uh, we, we want to go dance at the end of the day. For either one of you players, um, coach kind of touched on it. Come this tournament time, everybody, you know, they're trying to go dance and they're trying to trying to uh, get to the NCAA tournament. You guys come here as the favorites every year. You guys are the heavy favorites. How hard is it to convince yourselves and convince yourselves in that locker room that you still have to bring it? This is a team you beat by 16 twice in the regular season, and they come at you with everything this game. How, how hard is it to change what you did in the regular season compared to these uh, couple days every March? Um, you know, we know there's a difference between the regular season and the postseason. And, um, you know, coach is always telling us that, uh, uh, any team can get beat on any day if you don't bring it 100%. So, um, you know, once we got here, we just had to refocus and no matter who we're playing and just know that we got to come in and play our game, stick together, stick to the game plan offensively and defensively, and um, it would push us through. Yeah, and we also we also have like you know four seniors that you know have been here. So, you know, we just you know try to keep the young guys going. Like you know, just let them know like yo. You know, it's, it's time to go, you know. They say it just like <laughs> that. Time they say, yeah, <laughs> it's time to go. A new mantra, instead of one more, one more win, we'll go with, yo, it's time to go. <laughs>
switch it up on him. <laughs> but Chili, let me ask you about playing against Ahmed. You know, he did. He, he was the All League center this year, and you, you know, you guys just went battle neck and neck the whole game. Just talk about maybe uh, how you prepared mentally for that, and looking back at this game, you know, how you know, kind of a real kind of a showdown you guys had. That's his line there. Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I mean, I was men mentally I was prepared, you know, Coach Brown, which is, you know, the offensive coach, and I, he, he used to coach at Bakersfield and stuff, but, uh, you know, he kind of, we, I mean, I watched him play, and I played against him, and I know what kind of player he is. You know, he likes to, you know, talk and be all, you know, like whatever, just try to get, like, to get on your head. So I was, I was, you know, ready for that, and just, and I just tried by all means all game not to just get on that and just, you know, play basketball and just go as hard as I can, so. You can ask questions of coach as well. I'm good. I'm good. I can just sit up and do jokes. <laughs> hmm. Next. <laughs> All right, Marvin, I asked Chili the same thing. I want to ask you, and that's what do you think about the way he started the game, and, and how did you guys as a coaching staff kind of handle and maybe encourage uh, him to get I, some I, motivation? I didn't do anything different. You know, he's a fifth-year senior. He's a man. You know, he, he knows what he needs to do. He's our coaching and teaching and mind tricks they know all that are, are all my little psychological they've seen them all it still works on the young guys but <laughs> Moles and Chili have seen them all so you know they know it. very little to answer your question in brief I Chili's like a son I love him to death and you know I was just I'm happy both of these guys get a chance to keep playing and the rest of the team so Uh, Marvin, you guys have been in some, you know, close games a lot of times this season. Uh, mm -hmm. Tonight, you know, last week in Chicago State. Uh, what is it just about, you know, when teams do make comebacks on you guys, but, you know, you talk about it winning time. What is it about this team that they come through in winning time? Like, you know, what kind of drives them? Just experience. You know, it's like being a head coach. Every assistant coach in America thinks he's ready to be a head coach. And then when you slide over that 12 inches, then you realize that mm, maybe not. It's, it's, it's a transition period. And it's education and it's experience. And uh, to see these guys go through the process of, you know, enter, entering the, the university of student athletes that were very young men, you know, 18 years old, 19 years old. And then, and then now they're, they're men. They're literally figuratively and, and just, you know, men. So the transition from a young man to a man is, is huge. And so you got to have men when you want to you know, get the job done when, when in the last few minutes of game, the winning time. It, it requires a, it's just tough. It's tough for fresh, unless you're Kentucky, <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> which is a, you know, an aberration of <coughs> college basketball, in my opinion. But it's, it's just, uh, it's really tough to, to go out there and make all the right decisions and, and do all the right things in, in crunch time. And, and, you know, I'm just happy to have these guys. You know, I said earlier in the Sierra season, Mark, um, you know, we will go as far as these seniors take us. It won't be because I drew, drew, drew up a, a great play. It won't be because you know, my assistant coaches had this phenomenal game plan. It will be because the, the, the seniors decide to go out and on, on a given night play to their best abilities together and produce the type of talent that Las Cruces, has, Las Cruces really hasn't seen yet because we haven't had all been clicking on all cylinders yet. Um, as evidenced by tonight. I mean, we just, no, no disrespect to Bakersfield, but I mean, we, a couple guys had an off night, you know, and three of the four had a pretty good one, you know, or two of the, two of the four tonight, you know, so uh, it just, it, it just comes back down to that. Last question. Defensively, uh, they come out, they hit seven of their first 11 shots, um, right. but the rest of the first half, it's two of 15 for them, eight right. and a half minutes without a field goal at one point. How close are you to firing on all, seal, all cylinders defensively? Well, th those shots were, I gotta, you got to give credit to the early shots, you got to give credit to, to uh, Coach Barnes. Um, he had a game plan, and they attacked us uh, from, the, from the high post to the, to the uh, short corners. Uh, they were very aggressive in attacking our press and getting it to the baseline and playing through reversals. They did a very good job early in the game. We didn't know exactly what they're all. I mean, they were a different team last night. Last night it was a much more tempo. They they, they controlled the tempo. They were more poised in, in how they, um, they kept the, the, the rhythm of the game going. And tonight they were aggressive and they went at us. So um, so you got to give Coach credit on that. You know, I think you know, at the end of the day, I'm glad you didn't ask me to, to do my Elvis impersonation. That's the first thing. Secondly, 
these group of guys that I have right now, I could tell you that um, the best is yet to come. I'll put it like that. I think the best is yet to come, and I'm hoping and praying that they put it all together before, before the season's over. Thank you. And I want to thank Hope Schuler for, uh, and the older mission. You know, I'm always joking and being sarcastic, but I got to tell you something. The WAC administration has been doing a fantastic job. Everything, every season that, that we've been here during the tournament, uh, they just, they put on a fantastic production. It's very professional, it's very organized, and I just want to give them some, some kudos.